My name is Kaz Hirai, K-A-Z-H-I-R-A-I. I am the president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America. Well, conceptually, first, we wanted to really uh, usher in the next generation of not just a console, but really uh, propose the next generation of what computer entertainment in the home could be and should be. Uh, with the PlayStation 3. And so what does that mean in, in real terms? Uh, we wanted to again push the envelope from a technology standpoint with the cell processor. We also wanted to make sure that we had a future-proof console with the Blu-ray playback capability both for games and for movies uh, in the HD environment. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we were taking full advantage of the broadband connections that more and more homes are now taking advantage of as compared to say four or five years ago. And we wanted to back that up with real cutting edge uh, from a technological standpoint, but also an entertainment standpoint, cutting edge uh, entertainment software. Um, so we didn't want to come out with something that was maybe just a, uh, a 0.5 improvement over what we have with the PlayStation 2, but really bring something to market that really was leaps and bounds uh, beyond what we were able to uh, give to the consumers with the previous generation product. We have always uh, wanted to make sure that we bring value into the hands of the consumers. And one way to bring that value is, again, to make sure that we have a console that is effectively future-proof. And that's why we were able to stay in the market with the PlayStation 1, the original PlayStation, for more than 10 years after its initial launch in 1995 and keep it going as a viable platform for the consumers but also a viable business for the publishers and the retailers as well. Uh, we have the same vision with PlayStation 2. Uh, it's been in the market now for six years. Uh, you can see just by looking at the booth, uh, you know, some of the great titles that are coming out for PlayStation 2 in its sixth year. Um, and uh, we continue to uh, make sure, we will continue to make sure that PlayStation 2 stays a viable platform for uh, at least 10 years. So we look at it as more of a 10 year life cycle. And that really goes back to the future proofing that we put into the PlayStation 3 as well, where, of course, we're just launching now. But uh, we want to make sure that PlayStation 3 is a viable business, again, for the, the publishers, the retailers, and a great entertainment platform uh, in 10 years' time, which would be in 2016. But that's the kind of future-proofing that we want to provide because that's bringing value to consumers. I would say it's an absolutely fantastic deal. Uh, that the consumers are going to uh, get with either the 20 gigabyte uh, PlayStation or the 60 gigabyte PlayStation uh, 3. Um, and uh, the way that we have made a technological powerhouse in terms of uh, the cell processor, the fact uh, that it plays Blu-ray uh, motion picture software as well as games uh, in Blu-ray as opposed to previous generation DVD-ROM formats, uh, which means, uh, just as an aside, you don't need to be swapping disks during gameplay, which I think is an annoyance for everybody. Uh, so with Blu-ray, uh, you can have 50 gigabytes of data, and that's pretty massive for one optical disk. Um, and also combining that with the fact that you have the output onto uh, HD monitors, combining that with the fact that you can uh, connect right into the internet um, and uh, you know get and access online content uh, anywhere, anytime. Um, I think really is a fantastic value that we are bringing to the consumers um, at the $499 and $599 price point. It's kind of in the Sony DNA to make sure that we are providing technology that is cutting edge at the most affordable price that we can bring to market and we follow that strategy with the PlayStation 3 as well. One of the great things about being uh, able to provide a networked uh, device, such as the PlayStation Portable or the PlayStation 3, is the ability for certainly the users to access entertainment content, but for also uh, Sony Computer Entertainment to provide upgrades to the firmware, which we've done with the PlayStation Portable uh, several times already during the past year. Uh, PlayStation 3 will be very similar in that we will be able to provide updates and upgrades of various functionalities as we've done with the PlayStation Portable right into the, uh, the, the consumer's consoles in the home without having to ask them to you know, uh, go out and uh, get the version upgrade uh, you know, disk to put in. And I mean, I'm sure we can provide that as well, but I think the, the convenience factor of being able to download the firmware updates 
um, is just uh, you know, a fantastic way to make sure that everyone that has the particular console, whether it's PSP or PS3, uh, can take advantage of the firmware upgrades. Well, uh, at launch, we want to make sure that we are uh, certainly bringing enough units of PlayStation 3 into the hands of the consumers, not just in the North American market, but also in Europe and also in Asia, including Japan, because we are going to do a simultaneous launch uh, in uh, the three territories. Uh, Japan actually going six days earlier. Um, and uh, so we want to make sure that we have a good supply into all three markets. We want to make sure that we are sending home the compelling entertainment message by having a lot of compelling first party and third party titles at launch, but more importantly, following that up with good software launches right after, a week after, two weeks after, especially because we're leading right into the holiday season uh, after we launch uh, PlayStation 3. Um, and we also want to make sure that we're sending a clear message that once again, Sony Computer Entertainment's uh, latest console in the PlayStation 3 is a console that once you enter into the family, if you will, that we will be there for you for the long haul because of the fact that it's future-proof looking forward, but also the fact that if you have PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 software, that's all backwards compatible as well.